Inside this trailer is an Argentinian-style grill being delivered by Todd and Jason from Weld.com. They have a YouTube welding channel and offered to make one to celebrate us passing the million subscriber mark. And hell yeah, we said yes to it. As they get it off the truck and into my backyard, my excitement just builds. Because we've talked about it, but I haven't seen it. At least not yet. So this is the moment. It's been months in the coming. This is Jason from Weld.com. Behind the other camera, not Max's, but the other one is Todd. <laughs> and we've talked about this. I've seen some renderings. I saw a little work uh, while it was being fabricated. But you haven't let me see anything else. Not yet, no. We've been uh, struggling all morning to keep you from it. So it's, it's like, it's like uh, a little kid at Christmas. I've been dying to see this. And now, like those home fix-it shows where there's a the big-ass reveal at the end, that I'm convinced that people have already seen the shit that's going on. A little bit. I, there's no way they've not seen what's happened. I have not seen what happened. I have not seen what's under here. So you not ready? Yet. Yeah. So I say we just pull up and then throw it that way. One, two, three. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's just take a second. Just take everything in. It's freaking amazing. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's the it's the this is what started it. Yes. So that was this the goal, is the gold play the goal. button to we were planning on building a grill anyway. Yeah. And Todd and I are both huge fans of the show and we said, hey, why not build the grill? And we'll give it to Sam the Cooking Guy. And it just so happened right around the time you hit a million subscribers. So we were like, perfect. So we were awarded a gold play button by YouTube and you built one and put it on. Yes. Or somebody and this built is, this. This is right? all manually machined by A-Bomb79, which is uh, another YouTube channel that we did a collab with to have him fabricate the button. Because oh. everything else was fabricated just oh. from material. Oh my God. He did the same God. thing with okay, wait. aluminum. So my face is in here. Unbelievable. My logo here. Damn, I was, wish I was wearing the shirt today. Okay, it's here, it's here. We talked about red flywheels, but the fact that you made the whole bar red mm -hmm. makes it a thousand times better. So the beautiful thing about an Argentinian style grill is that as you, like this? Just like that. As you do this, it goes up. Oh my God. Less heat. You bring it up. More heat. You lower it. It's genius. And this was everything you guys. Everything was fabricated. And then Except here's our- for these came off of chipping hammers that were in our shop. Yeah. Oh, I love but that. everything else- Okay, so this is the material. firebox, right? Yep. Let me see. Oh. Right, go right there. Lower it just a little bit. Oh, there. Okay, so our fire goes in here and- that's Slide what the, pan, the pan for cleaning the ash. Yep. So the the logs will go here, and we're using wood, actual yep. wood. Never done it, but we're going to find out. And then the handles also, this guy's locked, but then this opens and closes yep. to give it more air, to beef up the fire, or bring it down. Exactly. And then you get your logo here. And then the Sam here, and the Sam there. And I store my wood down here. Yep. You store your wood down there. You can do charcoal, fluids, whatever you need to. Jason, honestly, I, I don't know what to think, man. When these guys first proposed this idea, I thought, yeah, it's going to be cool. How, how do you not say yes to this? And it would be a really interesting collaboration. This is a billion times greater than I ever thought it would be. And everybody right now, you go to YouTube, findwell.com and subscribe. They deserve it. By the way, they made this in Florida and they didn't fly it out, they drove it out. A couple stops along the way and they showed up this morning and here it is in all its glory. And I'm cooking because this is a Latin American style grill. I'm making a picanha, which is a 
a Latin American cut of beef. I mean, we have it here, but they're not, they're not that common here. Mm -hmm. So let's go put this in place. We'll get the fire going. Okay. And once it starts, we'll prep our picanha, and then we cook. Then we cook. I'm looking forward to watching Dude, it. Dude, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So amazing. So Jason's suggestion was a bed of charcoal first. Before the wood. But the problem is, is that this charcoal is like really small stuff that I think will drop through. But I don't think I need too much. Once I have a good fire going, then I can throw the wood on top. There's a little natural, all natural fire starter underneath this. Okay, that's gonna take a couple of minutes. Once we get some good flame out of this, once this charcoal is starting to catch, then we'll add our wood. Hands split by me, I might add. Like this? If you've ever been to a churrascaria, a, 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 a Brazilian meat-based restaurant where they cook things on skewers and then bring them to the table and slice off thin pieces for you to eat. The rump cap it figures prominently in, in one of the skewers they bring out, but not like this. They cut these into steaks. They get obviously progressively smaller towards this end, but then they take those steaks, they fold them in a C shape, and then they skewer like this. So you've got the long skewer with big, smaller, smaller, smaller. Those get cooked. Today, we're cooking this baby whole. It's gonna be dynamite. Let's prep it. Okay, so we'll take our guy out. We'll dry him off a little bit on some paper towels before we deal with him. And then we'll clean him up. So look, here's the fat. We want this. We want almost all of that. But we'll do a little bit of trimming first. Just a little bit. This extra here, don't need. And it is very thick here. You can see, that's too much, I don't need that. Yes, I want the benefit of the fat, but no, I don't need the benefit of an inch thick of fat, so. Let me try and trim this guy down a little bit. Remembering though, it's important, so don't get rid of too much. So when I bought this, they said, do you want us to trim it a bit? And uh, I would have paid less because it would have been less poundage, but I wanted you to see what this process was and how important it is. When you've got this one top side the way you want it, flip it over, tell the flies to f off, and just clean up the bottom. This is unnecessary here. This is silver skin. This you don't need ever. So your knife goes underneath like that and then pull it taut and you'll get most of it off. Do it again here. Oh, Jesus. This is insane. It never gets worse than when there's raw meat. This last little piece. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay, we got the fat, we've got all this off. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna score this guy now, which means we put long cuts like this just down through the fat. And this is gonna give us a beautiful like crust on top and help bring more flavor inside. And we turn it go in this direction. 
Okay, we're gonna season like this. Kosher salt and pepper here, and we're gonna add some chipotle chili powder. Look, I know if I was in uh, Brazil or Argentina, this would just be very coarse salt. Well, they can do what they want, I'm not there. I can do what I want. And now we'll take our Chosen Foods avocado oil, give it a little splash, front and back, and we will season. So we're seasoning aggressively because it's a thick cut of meat. And it needs it. And when we're done, we head over to our amazing new grill, courtesy of Weld.com. So we're just about ready to put the meat on. I'm gonna get my chimichurri sauce ready first. Handful of ingredients, it will make that picanha extra special amazing when it comes out. To drag it through some of this terrific sauce, it'll be great. So come on, let's make this quickly. The fire's burning and ready, Max, let's go. We'll start first with garlic, and I've got you know four and a half giant cloves, or you could put in you know, six regulation size ones. It will give this a quick mix. Piece of sh Here we go. I find if you put the garlic in first by itself and give it a little blast, it breaks up nicer than when there's a whole lot of other stuff in there. And the whole lot of other stuff now can go in. Next will be a head of parsley, twisted at the middle and dropped in. Some fresh oregano, we'll use about this much. Clearly, it's an exact amount of that. We need some kosher salt and fresh ground pepper. Even amount of each. Couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar, which looks like this. One, two. Juice of a lemon, which looks like this. And this is not traditional in chimichurri, but I like it. About a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Sumi, everybody from South America, it's what I like. We'll give this a little whiz. And then we do this. We push down the sides. So we add about two thirds of a cup of Nice extra virgin olive oil that I think is that. Maybe a little more. And we whiz again. You stop and you take a look. And you see how it is. You go, oh, that's nice. That smells amazing. I'm happy with that. Take it out, put it in a bowl, in. Look at that, do you know how good that's gonna be on the steak? Holy shit. I mean on the picanha. Oh boy. And when it's all in, and you're satisfied by tasting, of course middle finger. Motherfucker. Oh my God. Don't let anybody tell you, you cannot put smoked paprika in this. Because you can, and you should. It's gonna be tremendous. But now, we cook the picanha on our well.com Argentinian style, Santa Maria style, gaucho style grill. I've never cooked on my face before, but there's always a first time. And that's what you want. Little whiffs of smoke, that little sizzle sound. This is great. And all we're going for right now, ladies and gentlemen, is nice color and a sear, both sides. Okay, so we're learning here. And throw some charcoal in, see if we can get a little more heat going. We're gonna need to add some more wood, but we'll do that in a second. But I know if I throw a chunk of wood in here right now, it's just gonna flame. And I don't really want massive flame. I'm happy when it's up higher, but right here. But look, we're getting to know each other, Max, correct? Mm -hmm. It's like a first date. We're learning, what do you like? How do you like to cook? Do you like meat? 
But unlike a first date, we kind of went all the way right off the bat. So, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Should we look? Oh, see, nice. Look what's happening. All the right things, man. I mean, apart from my hair, where there's a big piece open, uh, I could do shrimp on this thing. I could do asparagus on this thing and not have them fall through. Hey, shit. Anything on this. It's quarter inch thick stainless steel, Max. Did you know that? No. Well, I did, because I asked. Badass. That's badass. Okay, so I'm gonna flip her. I said her, I think it's a he. What would you call this? Oh. Oh my God. This is the moment, isn't it? This is the moment. I've envisioned this in my head. This. You flip it over, you see what the fat's doing. You've got the charcoal, the wood underneath. What a heavenly moment I'm having here. Little stirring on the bottom. We'll check the bottom here. See some beautiful color. Let's turn it up. I mean, let's roll it up. Let's roll this bitch up, shall we? Wow, now I can put some wood on right there. Yeah, we'll bring them down a bit. I think we'll live there for a bit. You wanna see something cool? Yes. Look at that, look what's happening here. Should we check its temperature? Oh, almost the hundy. We don't have far to go. And with the picanha looking as amazing as it gets, off she comes. Jesus. Take two. Here we go. Wow. Come along, sweetheart. All right. Now is the time we have been waiting for. We have our picanha. We should let it rest, but there's gardeners, there's flies right now, Max, and I can't do it. I have to cut. May I cut? You can. Look at this gorgeous fatty top on here. Oh, oh Lord. Look at the kid. Look at the kid. Oh, snap. And now we cut a piece here. Look how juicy this is. It looks perfect. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Jeez Louise. But now you cut a little piece like that in a bite with the fat. I mean, come on, look at this. So here we go, the test. Oh my freaking God. Oh my freaking God. A, the picanha is unbelievably delicious but the smoke from the wood and the charcoal and the way that I was able to regulate the heat with that beautiful piece of equipment from the boys at well.com, who, by the way, are about to taste this. They're sitting right here. Hold on. Oh, God. Let me do this. Cut some bites for them. They're big boys. They don't need me to cut, but I will do it. And I'll take this, I'll put this on here. This is not very fancy, lads. And oh, I haven't even had the chimichurri yet. I'll put some of the chimichurri right here so you can try it by itself. I'd say Thanks, have sir. a bite without the chimichurri and then a bite with, and then you tell me what you think. That's amazing. Freaking awesome. It's ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's an amazing cut of meat. So look, here's the, here's the message. And with the chimichurri. Mind blowing. Here's the message. Picanha. Mm. P I C A N H A. I hope I got that right. Also known as a rump cap. Lewis. Also known as a rump cap. It's delicious. Cook it to about 130 ish. I think that's where I landed. Maybe 128, 129. I was going for more, but I couldn't wait. Leave a little fat on top. Do the right thing with it. Make the chimichurri. It's fantastic. 
And if you haven't subscribed to them yet, go to weld.com on YouTube. Subscribe, hit the notifications button. The gardeners are starting, this is over. They're the best two guys in Florida. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you in another video. I never say see you in another video, but we will, I promise. We gotta eat this now. <laughs>